Well, howdy. It's a little squirrely, if you can't tell. We need to get to some higher ground. It's way too squirrely out here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're going over to some trail. Can't even ride in the field right now. Oh, that was terrible. This bike, like, it just got clean, too. I wonder how nasty it is right now. Oh, good, good. Clean off my boots a little bit. That was terrible. It was like driving on ice. Well, this is my uh, new DRZ 400. It's a DRZ 400E. It's a little finicky. I don't know if the carburetor is dirty or if the, uh, if it's like, I heard it was like a flat slide carburetor. I don't know if that's got to do with it or not. But boy, does it get squirrely. I don't even feel good like braking out here. So it's like, it's like 30 something degrees out right now. So everything's cold to begin with. And then it rained like two days ago. So it's either mud or ice. Well, you pick or choose, it's, you, hit, you hit a patch of brown, it's either mud or ice. So it's, uh, it's not looking good for our ride right now. Oh, not to mention, I've got a minus three uh, in the front from factory. So it like, it, I can't, I can't, I, 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 I can't even ride in the field unless it's bone dry. There's just too much torque. Look at that. It's just bad. You can see all this is ice. We got a dog chasing us. good so I bought a DRZ 400 I figured I hadn't had a dirt bike in a while and it was about time to get back into the swing of things uh, so here I am getting back in the swing of things bike sliding all over the dirt oh gosh uh, I did not really feel like going through that right now just follow his track come on boy come on Oh, that was easy. Well, like, I, if I get, I, I can't even get the gas like that back here because I'm pretty sure it's just spinning the whole time. It sounds pretty freaking rowdy. Oh my gosh, this whole place is a nightmare. I wish I was brave enough to try and drift these corners. But this being my first expedition and whatnot on this bike, so I guess we'll just try and do like a rolling burnout or something. And that is three gears of rolling burnout for anybody, <laughs> anybody that's curious what that sounds like. Gosh darn, it is fun. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's a good strategy is just stand up and cruise through it. But me standing up, I'm scared to whiskey throttle because my freaking throttle is so finicky with this torquey gear on there. I was gonna say, like I hear a loud screaming noise then I remember this is right beside the highway. Oh, whoa! 
Oh, I think I, the GoPro just got smacked. Go. Oh. oh, I forgot about my face mask visor thing. Oh man, the top speed of this thing is not going to be very good, I think. Going, for <laughs> going 49 in fifth gear and it's kind of screaming. It doesn't work anymore. I lost. I must have lost my magnet. Dang it! That's. I figured that would happen. Actually, not real surprised by that. At the time, I just stuck one of those. Uh, I literally just stuck a magnet on my brake. Brake caliper. I was like, I know it's gonna fly off as soon as I hit a cornfield or something. Lo and behold, zero miles an hour, boys.